Chapter 9 A hidden true intention or answer One of those interesting cases where the kanji and the okurigana are completely different Anyway Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export for You, and welcome to part 109 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. So within the Yuturid Mount Holy Mountain Range is a forested region called Farareoras. In the central portion there is a city of about 20,000 people. And within that city there is the main temple of Fuchsia. Getting there every year are a good number of pilgrims. And those people with a deep faith go to the temple in order to offer their prayers to the present god Fuchsia. Now, within the mountain range is also the God's Haze, the so-called Holy Grounds. And from time long past, the Elves have been guarding it. But now, approaching this Holy Land is a taboo, mobile, strategic weapon. There is an engineer in the center of a company based in that place and everywhere they go they get good reviews from the local townsfolk so dealing with this castle has come to be a difficult task and among the believers of the fuchsia faith a certain portion have changed their beliefs over to the present god Fia So Guadalcuna Castle is no longer something that the Fuchsia faith can ignore. So in order to deal with their true intentions and actions, the Fuchsia faith has sent missives out to the major forces in the area. And today, Rishu comes to us with a serious expression in order to talk about this. All right, Rishu, what's this important talk? So, from the head priest of the Fuchsia faith to the Santa Shie Federation, a certain Missive has been delivered. And most likely, because she's currently residing in the castle, in this missive is also certain messages for the people of the Gualacuna Company. From the head priest. What's it like? Well, skipping over the greetings and the introduction, the major points are two. First, once we enter into Fara Lear Learos, we need to stop our action for a limited time. And there is a holy accord that is going to be occurring in Fuchsia Temple. And we should, and they request that we attend the accords. And as of now, the same missive has probably been passed to the dragons as well. And 
てということは。So they're opening holy accords. At this time, that means that what they're after is. あちらから仕掛けてくるとは思いませんでしたが、間違いなく城塞についてでしょう。Yes, she wasn't expecting the Fuchsia faith to start this, but without a doubt, this accord regards the castle. So both Rishu and Ri and Katorito visibly gulp, audibly gulp. So, what exactly is this Holy Accords thing? ファラリアロスを中心に広がる、ご勢力で行われる会合のことです。It's a certain meeting that the five powers centered around Father Rearos convened for. ピーシア教を支える二つの勢力、ルーエル不足と龍族の各代表、そして旧インラクス王国から派生した国々ですわ。So, from the Fuchsia faith, there are two powers, the Rune Elves and the Dragon Tribes, and they sent their representatives. And further, in the former Inrax Kingdom, the kingdoms that now exist, the countries that now exist, send their own. So that would be Influs Kingdom, and the Santa Si Eighth Alliance. Of which Raoul also is a part, and the third one is Avaro. You forgot. She told you once already, and you forgot. Nampou ni itch suru Laxusia Ookuk desu. Kaisai wa osoraku Laxusia ni daihyou ga tochaku shite kara toyu katachi ni naru desho. So in the south, there is also Raxia Kingdom. So. Before commencing the accords, the representative of Raxia will need to arrive. So it's pretty far south, probably a bit south from where we started our game, and it took us this long to get here. On the other hand, we had obstacles, and if we're talking about a head of state coming to a major accord, they're going to get here with a good more, good deal more haste than we were able to. Muster up. So, Rax, what is? I forgot the name already. Raxia. I like Raurosu and Influence Kingdom. Raxia was part of the former Inf In Rax. Kingdom, Influence Kingdom, Inrax. Boy, they don't make it easy. It was another country that got stood a, got that got、um, formed after the fall of Inrax Kingdom. And Raxia actually has the proper royal family from Influence Kingdom running it at this time. At least that's what I've always heard. So, with Farrarea Aros being in the north of Influence Kingdom, Raxia's representative will need to get here. It'll take some time. Hmm. But regarding this meeting, Guadalcuna's company's name and it doesn't actually mentioned, is it? たもとを分けた勢力の意向を確認したいとのことですが、内実の議題内容は、城塞と、うつつかみフィアの処遇についてでしょう。Well, the publicly given reason is that our various forces need to collaborate in finding ways to do stuff, but The actual topic of the accords will probably be the castle and the present god Fia. Paralearos の調査を縛り付け、その間に五つの勢力が城塞をどう扱うか決めるということです。So while the castle is caught up in Farrarearos, 
These five powers are going to convene and decide how to deal with the castle. Um, if that's the case, then this meeting that we're being called to, Fia is going to attend, but she won't actually have her opinion matter. So the deciding rights actually belong to the countries. Uh, well, in that case, is there any meaning to participating? Well, we have no direct right to decide in the Accords, but Fia's words can certainly interfere, control, sway the other representative's decisions. So amongst these five powers, if three or more take our side, then we should think it safe to say that we'll be able to safely enter the holy ground. So, even if you say so, just how difficult is that going to be? They've given their public reason for the Accord, but could they also not be considering whether Raul Rosso and the Dragon Tribes have betrayed the faith? <laughs> And yes, that's true. What they would like to confirm, among other things, is whether Risho and Celi's Raul Rosso and the Dragon Tribes are doing anything improper. And, apparently, the Infru's kingdom actually gave us a command to stop our progress, and we ignored it. Well, naturally, we ignored it. So, we continued on towards the God's Haze, and that's going to be a big problem in this accord. And furthermore, the fact that the castle is a taboo weapon and may be disposed of is a possibility as well. So in this meeting, can Avaro participate as well? Now of course, as the Apostle of Fia, he probably has every right to attend as well. So she, Rishu and Sally herself, is going to be representing the Santa Shi Eif Federation. So she'll be coming along. Since she's knowledgeable about the circumstances, the Alliance has included a recommendation along with the message that we got. Yeah, I see. So the Santa Shia Federation again was part of the old Inrax Kingdom, but they've fallen out of favor with the Fuchsia faith in favor of Influence Kingdom. So one of the things that Santa Sieve is after here is to kind of stick it to the royal family of Influence Kingdom.
so since Rao Rosso being directly connected with the castle at this point, being one of the representation, being one of the representatives, they see this as an opportunity to, again, knock it to influence. So, according to the explanation, it seems the eminent people of these various countries are going to be attending. In order to verify the condition of the castle and what to be done and how to deal with us. So, there probably isn't any possibility that we could refuse this invitation, could we? No. So, along with the missive was also an invitational command. If we refuse, simply by that action we'll be taken as enemies. Invitational command, huh? That's a weird collection. That's a weird collection of words. If you say invitation, it's usually inviting someone of higher status. But if you say command, it's usually giving something to someone of lower status, which they can't really refuse. Kind of hard to read what they mean by it. But on the other hand, if we comply with it, that means that They'll be able to see we have no intention of opposing them. Well, probably the Fuchsia faith recognizes Fia as the proper goddess. And in respect for that, they extended a invitation rather than a summons. But they are still wary of the castle of the castle itself, and for that reason, they included the command portion, strong language intended to show their will in the matter. Hmm, is that so? So they're respecting her as a goddess, but at the same time, they're not allowing us to stir anything up. You may recall a while back, Mikshuana had the idea to send a missive to the Influence Kingdom in order to slow down their military response to the castle. Here Mikshuana is regretting it, saying it may have had the opposite effect. If we did it unskillfully, then the angel's connection with the castle will be speculated upon at this point. Katorito as well communicated with the head priest in an effort to keep them from doing anything. And for this reason, when the dragon said they would protect the castle, they may be falling under scrutiny for it. But no. You two took those actions in order to protect the castle from being attacked. And it was a big help. No need to worry and it'll all be fine. And in any case, seeing as the castle has passed through the Dragonlands and is entering into Faro de Aros, it's only natural that they'd be a bit wary of it. Yeah, have you seen the people we've messed up so far? Alright, 
Mauricio, I'd like to confirm one thing. Perhaps more than one thing. Do you think it's possible that while the castle is bounded down in the region, that they might take the opportunity to trick us into an ambush? She doesn't think so, actually. Since they've attached the name Holy Accord to this meeting, they need to behave with a certain amount of decorum and do everything properly to avoid cheapening the name of the Accords. As for the actual outcome of the meetings, Rishu can't guarantee it will go our way. Okay, I see. At least they're not trying to draw our guard down in order to exterminate us or anything. So there's no meaning to refusing their invitation. And let's attend this Holy Accords then. I think that's best. And Fia also thinks that it's best for us to participate. And the residents of the castle are largely members of the Fuchsia faith, so we can probably be safe in feeling that they are protected. So if Fia explains everything, explains it properly, they'll understand where we're coming from. And then we may be able to avoid a battle, and that would be best. Alright, so our course is decided. Well, either way, it went. We were still decided to go that way. But in order to let them know that we have no intention of attacking them, let's meet with them and do what they like for a bit. So let's follow the command of this missive and have a little stock in Faro de Aros. Oh man, I feel like we're finally getting to the end of our journey. But now it's chapter 9 and nobody has anything to say to me. I'm a little disappointed. Looks like that's the next scene. But we just completed two maps without a chance to return to the castle. Oh, we got... Wow, we got a lot of undead. Magic beasts. Aw oh, man, it only requires three stars and I'll have a four stars. Well, gotta take your licks sometimes. Wow, that's a lot of accuracy we got from those undead. And constructs. Let's take the low stars. Boy, these undead are popular. Three star demons times one. Okay, great. Hmm. Interesting. Usually when I see these progress, it goes from three stars to four stars, but it's just one three star to two three stars. Oh, whatever. Ah, more undead for more accuracy. I don't much spend much time thinking about accuracy, do I? Well, I got tons of space I don't need to worry about making it act optimized. 
Okay, I have a shopping list, so this shouldn't be long. You know, Adidam, I gotta tell you that your crap is so damned expensive. And we can finally make a gold key. However, in order to do that, we need Rami Asishi, which I guess we'll see sometime later in the chapter because we haven't seen it up to now. We could make this if we had farmed certain rare drops. Yeah, that's not going to happen. I still need more dragon... Earth dragon... Ground dragon skins for that. Which I'm sad to say I probably won't end up getting at all. And I complained about getting all those aquatic beast fins, but... They go into this crossbow, so hell, it was worth it. Oh yeah, this thing. This is for only Calterito's dragon form. I'm not fond of that. Now I'd like to make an onsen. That's one of those open hot springs, you know. There's probably a scene attached to it. But I don't have enough green liquid. I've been short on green liquid for about forever. I mean, if I had been able to find any green liquid... Yes, yes, I would have gotten enough green houses... ...to give me some lightning resistance. But it's the only element I'm short on. Well... That's our business in the castle, and next up is Father Leolas. But that will be next time. So... Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.